you defined symaphysy in 2015 in a 25-page paper. Could you summarize that and um, share if your views on the, the concept have evolved since then? The way that I usually describe it is if you're going through the forest and you come to a crooked tree and you ask yourself, how are we going to make that tree straight and tall? Other places in the forest, there's the same tree and it's standing straight and tall. And if you ask that question, you're going to end up clipping and tying and producing some sort of straightness in that tree. But if you ask the question, how is this crooked tree learning to be in its world? You're going to see something very different. You're going to see the way that tree is in relationship to the soil and the earthworms and the shadows and the rainfall and the wind tunnels and the, right. Where are the insects? So, so what, what we're seeing when we're seeing a crooked tree, and you know, there are ways in which you are a crooked tree and I am a crooked tree. The information that I receive from the context that I live within is not just straight up information going into a computer. It's, it's whatever it is landing in my existing experiences, right? So it's not just information getting poured into a pot. It's each, each data point, each conversation, each interaction, each relationship is actually resonating through all sorts of other relationships and language and all kinds of things that have come before. So this is, again, getting back to that the question prior to this, this issue of be careful because you don't know if you're perceiving what's there or you're perceiving your own perceptions that are filled with your own presuppositions. So somathesy is a, is a study of the way in which mutual learning is holding some of those presuppositions, um, holding, the possibility for change is not in the tree and it's not in the earthworm. It's not in the soil bacteria. It's in the relationship between them. Right. So I had a friend who went and said, yeah, this work is really important because how would a university design a jungle? And they would have a reptile department and they would have an insect department and they would have a flora and a fauna department. But in fact, it isn't any of those things. The vitality is in the, it's not even relationships that are describable because they are changing. They have to be changing in order for the continuity of the jungle to remain continuing the relationships have to be constantly changing. In order for things to stay the same, they have to continually change. So in order for things to change, some things have to stay the same. What is happening with this multi-contextual process? Um, so so somathesy is a, a study of that.